All right, welcome back. We have a uh, alchemy deck this time. Super excited for it as always. But before we get into it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. It's a small act for you, but it's a huge deal for me and it's greatly appreciated. But let's go ahead and get into this Orzhov mid-range deck. We're going to run uh, cut downs for a little bit of control of, to kind of build up to our big guys. Uh, reprieve for the same reason but it also being able to draw a card is super helpful uh, go for the throats also for control orcish bow masters to punish their draw and it's also a really good creature with flash uh, lord skitter to control the graveyard and overwhelm with little rat tokens liliana of the veil i'm going to use her for the discard and the sacrifice and maybe you can get the ultimate you know it's Really great Planeswalker. Legion to Ashes. Uh, it's another really great control card. Especially if you're up against a bunch of token nonsense. This will help you get rid of it. Pile on. So if we need to get rid of a Planeswalker or whatever. Here we go. With its Convoke ability. It'd be really nice with Lord Skitter and his little rat tokens. Uh, Shieldred because Shieldred wins games. Let's be honest. And the One Ring which is a great artifact in alchemy right now. You pretty much run it all the time, but, you know, choice is yours. Virtue of Loyalty, another really great card. Especially if you can throw out the enchantment with your little rat army, you can get out of control really fast. Gix's Command, uh, great versatility. You never know what you might need it for, the field wipe or bringing something back from the graveyard to your hand or the counters and lifelink. It's... It's really up to you because it's very situational and it's just it's just it's too versatile not to have at least one and uh phyrexian flesh gorger which is a really broken creature hard to deal with so we're gonna be running them and we're gonna run virtue of persistence also another really good pretty much i think the the white and the black virtues are some of the best but i haven't really played around a lot with the other virtues which i intend on doing so for now we'll just be running these two as far as lands we'll run the caves of koilos four of them two restless fortresses and um two mirex uh, as far as land goes you know you can interchange it to however you feel more comfortable for your play style and whatnot but I kind of like how this is set up, so uh, let's go ahead and get into some games, throw down some cards. Alright, straight into it against Jens. Okay. We're on the draw. Their hands, okay. It could be a lot worse, but... We will see how it goes. Looks like we've got a little bunch of mono black here to deal with. So let's just hold out for a bit. I think we'll do the virtue of loyalty on... Well, no. We're going to have to go for the throw with that. We have to get rid of that. Let's get uh, a creature of our own out there for now. So at least if he has to deal with it, it'll give him damage and it'll uh, dodge some go for the throats. I mean, best case, he's got the, uh, what is it, Infernal Grasp, so it'd take him five life to get rid of it. Okay, Claim the Precious, another great card. As you can tell, I don't really play a ton of alchemy, but... It's open for a land, but that's okay. Go ahead and deal with that. Get good land. So there we go on that. And we'll just hold off for now. Ooh, 
Call of the Ring. Pretty good. Let's see if we can pull a kill skill from him. Kill. Okay. Six lands. And this will... This will take four, so that will leave us one, so... Let's not do that. Let's just... Activate. And we're gonna play this one out. Keep it. And we'll just end our turn there. Slowing down a bit. Big boy on the field. make it indestructible will not matter with our legions to ashes go ahead and get a little skitter out there Wing in for a big old set. All right. Uh, I guess he didn't have anything to deal with the flesh torture, but that was super fun. Um, <laughs> go ahead and uh, jump to the next match. See if it plays out the same. All right. A shinde. I think that's how you would say that. Uh, no white, but maybe we can draw into some. We've got some little bit of early plays. And we're up against another mono black. Oh my goodness, we are. So let's go ahead and start pulling some kill spells. And we still got a token out now. Oh yeah, pulling out two kill spells. We have good card advantage now. So... It doesn't really matter what we remove. I don't know if he's a reanimator or not. Shield it, okay. Let's get rid of that. I don't think we're gonna need that. Take the shielder just in case he has some kind of reanimation and we'll swing in. And we'll hold up the lily so if he plays something again. Oh, it comes in taps, so that's not a big deal. Not having any white mana is starting to kill us. Okay, got rid of our skitter. Can we draw a plane? No, we cannot. Alright, so let's try and get a planes. Alright, no planes. 
pretty cool. Turning our deck into a mono black, but okay. But again, it's my fault. I probably should have mulliganed. But he did not want to deal with it. Can't say I don't blame him, but let's uh, move on and see if we can get one more match in. Alright, Morcus. Oh, we got White Land. Incredible. We're on the draw. Our hand's pretty decent, so... No one drop for us, but that's okay. We'll just get a plains down, swamp, and then, you know, we'll see what we need. From his turn, what he's going to play. I see you, buddy. Let's go ahead and just not deal with that. He'll make uh, the, the humans too strong at that point. Ah, Azorius. I was wondering if it was just going to be the Mono White. Okay. I'll just have to wait here. Well, let's uh, let's just hold up for now. We have a lot of options, as I know he's gonna want to play that uh, the siege veteran thing, but maybe not. Yeah, no, but he does. We're gonna have to kill that. We don't really have a choice. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a little 2-2 two -two knight token. Okay. Start building him up. And I think next turn we'll drop the bowmasters. I think he's yes yeah, a soldier deck. Yes, soldiers are still around, but we're kind of waiting for the brutal Cathar. Ooh, the sky strike. That's bad. What? We drew an answer for it. We potentially should have waited for the Bowmasters. I just got a little bit greedy with the Virtue of Loyalty counters. But he's out of hand at this point. So that puts us in an interesting position. Hmm. Hmm. 
You know, let's hold up the reprieve. See if he wants to trade here. Because with the virtue of loyalty, it kind of puts a heavy burden on his shoulders as it'll just keep getting stronger and stronger every turn. And he chooses not to kill it. Okay. So that was, why would he put it on that? I don't know. But he chooses to hold back. Which is probably smart. But... Send that in. We'll send that in. So if he wants to trade, we can trade. I don't want to give him the free kill on the 2 2 Bowmaster, so. His best bet is to kind of clear some things, but. With the virtue of loyalty taken on the flesh gorger. Like he has to play a creature here. But it doesn't really matter. Well, that's the deck. Uh mid-range Orzov. Super fun. And you know, playing in alchemy is an interesting experience. A little bit different from standard. I think standard's boring and Kind of drives me crazy you know i guess if, if you've been following my channel you've been noticing you know getting a little bit more angry and angrier but playing alchemy's a uh, welcome break from that so i had a lot of fun with this uh you guys should definitely check the deck out uh, especially if you don't really play alchemy it, it's a good deck it's really fun to play and i think you'll enjoy it but thank you guys so much for watching especially if you made it this far i appreciate the hell out of you and as always I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good.